Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, right now, the easiest way online when talking about football to lose credibility is to say that the Denver Broncos are not all that. Right? You criticize the Broncos, people are going to laugh at you because they've had televised blowouts of other teams, including quality teams like the Baltimore Ravens. But I'm here to tell you the Denver Broncos are not all that. They're 4-0 right now, but you need to think about fading the Broncos in November and December. Right? Let's talk about why. And quite frankly, there are other teams out there in the AFC that you need to keep an eye on. I mean, keep in mind, right now as I make this video, the New England Patriots are unbeaten with a pretty good defense. Now, let's keep the focus on defense. Monday night just happened. Denver just blew out the Oakland Raiders. You didn't see Chan Bailey on the field. You didn't see Vaughn Miller on the field. By the way, nor did you see great defense. Would it surprise you to know that Terrell Pryor, who many people doubted could throw the football at the pro level, had more than, let me look at the number here, 280 yards passing. Think about that. His quarterback rating for the game, and this is throwing against Denver's defense, was over 100. Oakland, a team not known for a juggernaut offense, averaged more than seven yards per play against Denver's defense, right? Oakland put up more than 20 points in the game, right? And so my point is simply this. As you're looking at Peyton Manning throw the football all over the field to a bevy of wide receivers, just understand there's more to the game than just a passing attack, right? Denver defensively isn't that great. Take a look, revisit those Baltimore numbers from week one. Realize, too, that that week one game actually hung in the balance until the second half. Now think about it. Denver has thin air. The name of the stadium is Mile High, right? At least the old stadium. When are guys going to be least fit to handle the high altitude? I would argue in the month of September before they've played their way into mid-season playing shape, right? Guys have just come off camp. It's still early in the year. They're just getting their legs under them. Guess what? Suddenly it's the third quarter and you're dealing with an active Denver offense, right? That might not happen later in the year. Let me go one step further. Peyton Manning in cold weather in the playoffs. How's he done? He didn't win last year with the Denver Broncos in a cold weather playoff game. Right? He had problems earlier in his career trying to get by New England in cold weather. You remember the year he got by New England? That was indoors, folks. Let's remember, Peyton Manning spent most of his career indoors. Right, He was an Indianapolis Colt for years. And so I'm looking at this team and I'm shaking my head. They're a good team. Make no mistake about it. But they don't have Seattle's defense. They don't have Seattle's rushing attack. I can't say their home field advantage is better than Seattle's. Right? And let's look at the teams they've beaten. You know what? The New York Giants didn't look too good this last week. And that wasn't against Denver. That was against Carolina. Right? The Oakland Raiders, let's face it, most people expected the Oakland Raiders to be competing not with the best in the AFC, but with Jacksonville for the worst in the AFC. Raiders are better than advertised. But all I'm saying is, let's not pretend that Denver right now is running roughshod over teams like the New England Patriots, the Houston Texans, right? No, they're looking great on national TV against, you know, teams like the Oakland Raiders, right? And all I'm saying, too, is, 
how good are they really looking? When? Baltimore puts up a pretty good first half against them. Oakland puts up a pretty good second half against them. Average game per play, I mentioned Oakland's was 7.2. Denver's was just 7.4. Not that much better, right? Also, the injuries are starting to pile up with the Broncos. Ryan Clady being injured might not have mattered against the Oakland Raiders. You and I know it would matter against the better defenses in the AFC. Right, and you got some teams out there that are awfully talented. Cincinnati Bengals come to mind. They're awfully talented. And if you catch them on the wrong day of the week, anything could happen. So I see Denver right now is a 4-1 to one favorite to win the Super Bowl. No doubt those odds are probably going to stay at 4-1 to one or might even get less favorable for gamblers. Right, but just ask yourself, really... This Denver rushing attack, are you convinced? This Denver defense, are you convinced? Do you really think that Von Miller, who is having all kinds of problems, is really going to come back in playing shape? Also, Champ Bailey, we were led to believe that he might miss the first week of the season. You know what? That might miss the first week of the season has led to him missing weeks two and three. How serious is the guy's injury? Is he going to be the shutdown corner now in his mid-30s that he was last year? Right? How's that secondary really doing when Terrell Pryor throws for over 280 yards against them? Right? These are the questions that really should be asked. Yes, they're a passing Juggernaut. No question about it. But you and I know what happens in November and December. Aren't there going to be some games where there's going to be some ice on the ground? It might be cold, windy, snowy. What's Denver going to do then? So yeah, Denver's one of the better teams in the AFC. No question about it. But I have my doubts. I don't see Arian Foster and Ben Tate in their backfield, right? I see a wide-open passing attack that has to take chances to be successful. Right now, their tight end has caught the league by surprise. No one's going to be surprised after they continue to look at this tape and face Denver in November and December. And as for that defense... Let's just say that secondary doesn't seem to be shut down to me. Certainly not, certainly not tonight. Consider me a Denver skeptic. I think there are better plays on the board. Keep in mind, too, KC statistically has one of the best defenses in the entire league. I don't believe it's even a cakewalk for Denver to win their division right let's remember with tonight's win they're tied with KC for the division lead think about it let me hear from you it's September the 23rd 2013 obviously it's early in the season but before we ask Peyton Manning what his ring size is let's look around the AFC neighborhood at some other teams right and let's also compare and contrast this Denver Bronco defense with Kansas City's defense, New England's defense, which, by the way, has been outperforming their offense, right? Cincinnati's defense, right? There's some teams out there. Thanks for stopping by.